couldn't have been any more perfect, any more beautiful, any more of a surprise. What we've been doing this week is all about helping families. And I'd have to say, this house right here is really going to help out this family. But then again, this week is also about families helping other families. And that's where we bring in what I like to call the secret project. See, the key word there is secret. I can't really show you much, but this time and this time only, I'm going to give you a little glimpse. Now, usually, my secret projects are a room in the house. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, man, that's amazing, isn't it? This time, well, it's literally a house. And now, here's for the close-up. And that's a big project for me. Yeah. But I'm special. That's why it's my special project. When the pulpit's coming together, it was a gamble. You know, taking this family's heirloom and something that they absolutely loved, a table, and, and turning it into something else. And this table had been in their family for years and years and years. So it was a big responsibility. I'm also going to take this wood. This was from one of the benches. Build a case around this and actually set the Bible inside. I wanted the family to be able to stand at the front of the chapel, put their hands on the table, the same table that Dad had touched for many, many years. I can't think of a more appropriate thing to take something that they loved so much and make it a pulpit for their new chapel. If you're going to cut up a family heirloom, <laughs> I think this would probably be the only way to go. All right, now I'm taking care of Andrew's ranch room, and this is the desk that's actually going to go in her room. And uh, I wanted to stress it a little. It's not quite rough hewn enough. And I want it to look like it comes from the ranch, you know? Maybe a little distressing. How do you distress something when you're out here? Let me show you. I have an idea. I figured I could, uh, you know, work a little magic on it. Here we go. Now, there's a fine line, you see, between distressing and destroying. And as you can see, this is really starting to take shape here. I tell you, it came out fabulous. See how we did here. Oh, yeah. Just as I planned. Distressed, but not destroyed. Okay, guys, look. We're going to have to see how we can make this work, but the first thing is to get it out of this trailer. So because I'm doing Rebecca's room and she wants a skydiving room, okay. not only do I want it to really feel like that authentic dive, awesome. I want it to have an authentic, actual airplane. Look at it out of the trailer. It is insane. I love it. Not sure how it's going to fit in the room, but I'm going to make it fit in the room. Fantastic. This is Tanya. two times bigger than I ever imagined. It's Ty. What is that? Is that an airplane? Uh, yeah, it's an airplane. A uh, real Cessna airplane. And what is it doing here? It's going in Rebecca's room. It's a skydiving room. Yeah, it's going You're in her room. You're putting that in her room. You got to see this. Look at this. Oh, this plane was so customized. Painted it in all of Rebecca's favorite colors, pink and blue. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, the controls and everything. Watch this. This pops out. The steering out. wheel. It's the steering wheel. This is awesome. But look at this. All right. You can pull this out. No way. And she can put a laptop. It's no all way. wire. Television, CD, stereo. Oh my and God! Is that a DVD player? Oh, MP3. I mean, this thing is so decked out. Look at the seat. Rebecca oh, Skydive. Oh wow. I mean, it's a Cessna. You know, it's got a DVD player. It's got a laptop computer. It's got lights flashing. Here's the thing. Is it going to fit in this hallway? I mean, look how narrow this thing is. Now, I know over the air she can turn on a dime, but in a house, it doesn't turn as well. OK, lift up, lift up, lift up. Oh, there it is. I Landing it. gear down. Everyone, we've got a plane coming through. Bring it in, bring it in. Here we go. Well, this is the kind of problems you run into when you try and put an airplane inside a bedroom. How's it look, guys? It's definitely different than moving a sofa in. OK, the nose is in. Oh my God, she's actually fitting in the room. I think it's gonna make it. I think we're gonna land safely right in Rebecca's room. I have not a doubt. Okay, it's gonna go all the way against that wall. That this room is going to just blow Rebecca away. Unbelievable. Let's have out a big yeah. 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 It's a plane in your bedroom. I love this show. It was so pretty, and I loved it. It couldn't have been any more perfect, any more beautiful, any more of a surprise. Oh, my goodness.
Yeah. You see that on the roof of the house? That's called the cupola. Uh -huh. And uh, inside it is a light that actually burns eternally. And I like to think of it like your love for John. It'll never go out. That cupola will be a great reminder to us for John's character, who John was, and that he's forever in our hearts. You like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Sarah was just like, she was blown away. And I like the <laughs> steeple. <laughs> it was my dad, so <laughs> like. I think that, that emotion of like, I wish dad could see this, really kind of hit him. He just always wanted a place like this. I'm sad he's not here for it, but I'm happy for him anyway. I'm happy for you guys. <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe he is here. Maybe he is seeing this. <laughs> I couldn't believe it was real. That is something, isn't it? That is beautiful. The fireplace! We have a fireplace! Look at the ceiling. I love the copper ceiling. The house is beautiful. I just, I, I love the house. Here's the cool thing. Everything in here, all these appliances, Sears hooked you up. <laughs> You've got a new stove. We never had a stove before. Oh a brand my new refrigerator. Gosh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All of it. I think what I mean most of this family is the quilts that are in this house. Esther, Ruth, dad's clothes. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Everywhere you look in this house, you either a quilt or a pillow or a picture. Something with John on it. A constant reminder in this house that he's there watching over them. That was a delight. Remember? Oh, oh yes. Uh, that gives them something to hang on to of their dad. It was wonderful. I wish we could have brought their dad back. We're not that good. But what we can do is give him a new start and give him a home. And it's something that John always wanted to do. You liking the house so far? Oh, we yeah. love it. We love it. Would you like to see a little bit more of it? Yes! White family, go check out the rest of your house! Right. I love my room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sarah is so sweet. Oh my goodness. She's only 18 years old, but shares the responsibility with mom. I just wanted her to feel glamorous in this room. Thank you, Paige. I love my room. It is so beautiful. I love it. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow. When I walked in the room, I was so shocked. Ah. This is so cool. <laughs> wow. Ugh. I loved the plane. Oh, this is awesome. awesome. I love it. How could you not be blown away by an airplane flying in your bedroom? This is so awesome. You walk into her room, and the whole floor looks like you're falling out of an airplane. Whoa. I'll stay out of her room. So you said you wanted to go skydiving, right? Yes. Well, here's the thing. The guys that took Tanya skydiving, well, they said they would take you. But here's the thing. You have to be 16, so can you wait two years? Yes. I'm going to be so scared of it. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't wait. Two years. Oh. <laughs> Esther goes into her bedroom and just blown away by the ranch. I mean, she's got like cowhide headboards, she's got like a wagon wheel chandelier. What she didn't notice was that there's a horse in her window, plus a barn. And this thing is a beautiful painted horse. One of the most gorgeous horses I've ever seen. This horse is actually a gift from Simmons Homes. Oh. Yeah. She didn't want to look at the rest of the room. She just want to hold on to that horse. Oh. oh. Dude. Michael did a great job. Oh, man. That is awesome. Zeb loves his dream. He loves all those paintball guns. All right. I walked in my bedroom in the cage around the bed. That was way different. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. We love the bathroom. It's big. No way. There's a big bathtub, and then there's two showers. Oh, my God. 
gosh. That bathroom is huge. Four sinks, two showers, two toilets, and literally thousands of tiles. Aww. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Everything that she needs to become a photographer, she has right there in that room. A giant what? lens. What, Mom? I've never seen so many cameras in one room. She just went shutterbug crazy. <laughs> Cali Quinn. <laughs> She's going to have the ability to really learn and grow in a skill. Okay. Each picture we have of John now is so precious that photography really does preserve our past.